hello everyone so today I'm going to show you uh, how to import uh, a full body armor and how to get the torso part as a modular component and apply it to the existing character so here as you can see I got this uh, torso part of the body armor from this full meta human rigged armor shared by Demon Lux thank you very much for that so it's free so you can also download it and i have applied that into my character so i'm going to show you how to edit it in blender and take out only the uh, torso part so that we can apply it to the existing character i haven't made this yet as a collectible component it's only uh, i have only applied it in the blueprint by default but in future I'm going to convert it as a collectible component so it will be available in this section right now only the weapons and helmets are available for you to choose yeah like this and also shields I haven't collected the shield yet so that's why it's not appearing so yeah just like that we will do all of these components and yeah let's see how to do these things today and before we get started uh, let me remind you that this is a part of action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing so here you can watch all other episodes as well in my channel for free uh, i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below and also you can download the project files of the full project updated project that contains everything we have worked on throughout all these episodes uh, from the patron page and uh, I'll leave the link to the project files also in the description and once you become a member not just this you can download project files of all other thousands of projects that I have worked on to the date there are over 2000 videos and for each video project files are accessible here and yeah now let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so now uh, this generous gentleman, Devon Lux, has shared some free assets that are rigged for MetaHuman. So these should be compared, I should be able to use them with the real mannequin. So let's try this one. And let's first see how to convert how to import this as a modular uh, asset and i want to assign the torso part separately and the legs separately show separately gauntlet separately and the helmet separately so first thing is let's download this and take a look all right this is what you get plaid mail full rigged right now let's here mesh maybe we should call it mesh plaid mail. okay so if i import this without thinking of anything let's import you get this but you don't see the skeletal meshes but actually they are there but for some reason so here you see the skeletal mesh but it's not appearing in the content browser that's actually a bug in 5.3 uh, i imported this same model into 5.1 and it appears correctly anyway here you see if you check this uh, bone hierarchy it has this root 0 1 and spine 0 1 2 2 3 there are some uh, additional numbers there so because of that you will run into problems if you try to apply this into my character so what i'm gonna do is let me delete this all and open up blender here we are in blender let me delete this. I'm in Blender. What's the version? 
do I see the version? I'm actually not much. Oh, you can see that in the splash screen. 3.22, but uh, it should be same for all versions. So let's import the plate mail armor. Plate mail for rigged FBX here. It's loading. Okay. Now here you can see it. All right. And here you can see root root 001. So there are multiple rigs because uh, each these components are separately rigged. The torso for the torso if you select one of the bone sets and go to animation force mode let's see this is for the legs and yeah so that's basically why there are multiple but i'm not an expert in modeling or animation but i just know a couple of things so if i select this and delete now we say the shoes are gone but they actually not gone they became larger i'm just trying to isolate the torso part okay and if i select this one and delete which part it did go no oh wait i should be in the object mode okay when i do that select the roots and delete and select root 3 and delete select root 1 and delete oh that's not what i want to delete root 2 delete okay now we have isolated the torso part now let me select these the stuff also and delete at the moment I am only interested in the torso and hit I don't need that right now okay now here you see just the torso and the road so let me rename this without this uh, 0, 001 part all right now we will see this is what you have so let's export this as an fbx to the same location um, let me chest let's call it uh, x forward is a dot and export oh maybe i don't need these parts also because they should be part of the gauntlet i think but yeah it's it's all right we can modify later let's just see if this works okay now that i have exported the plate mail chest let me import it so here i i will not assign a skeleton i directly import it okay now we have the skeletal mesh visible oh uh, uh here we do see the part of hand actually there is a mesh all right here so here what happens is there is a mesh but it's uh the faces are inverted that's why i don't see that you can actually see it in blender here if you enable face orientation these parts are red that's because faces are inside so anyway as i said i don't want these parts so let me select it go to edit mode oh wait can i delete these insides yeah let's delete that so there is no hand and here faces can I delete this? Yeah. Control plus to expand on the selection. And delete faces. 
so by the way don't take things that i do here as like the proper way to do those things because as i said i'm not an expert in modeling i just know a couple of things so just this is what i did okay now let me re-export and re-import yeah uh, now they are there but it's still that problem is here okay i guess i have to check face orientation okay yeah why they are inverted okay and this also can go to mesh normals flip now they are correct uh, why some of them are not correct maybe we should get rid of these parts also because they are also not needed just the main part of the armor is enough okay so i deleted all of them and now we only have this basic part great now let's export again file export fbx play it mail just and go back here re-import all right now we only have the basic part cool uh, now let's see the textures all right okay mm. it's just only one material there are only one set of textures or oh, there are virtual textures Okay. Let's see. Not that. Oh, this one. Okay, this is the one that matters. All right. Here, let's import these textures. I'm sure most of you how to set up the materials so but I just want to do it this is roughness this is metallic okay all right apply okay it looks good and and if you want to give some uniqueness from this default look maybe you can add a vector parameter multiplier like this let's just create a vector parameter tint let's give some slight blue So it has some difference. Oh wait, some difference from the stock look. So it looks a bit unique. And if you want, obviously, you can change the color. And like this. And different factions can have different colors. I'll keep this blue and yeah now now that we have a uh, wait the most important part is now we need to check make sure the skeletal hierarchy this is root pelvis spine spine 2 this is this should match with our characters skeletal hierarchy mesh skeleton hierarchy here if i select the player can see the mesh and go to the mesh you see pelvis is spine 1 spine 2 spine 3 so it's similar that means we can use this mesh along with my character now 
to show that let me drag and drop this under here but you can see it's not properly aligning because this does not have an animation but here there is something called lead pose get this set lead pose component and as the lead bone component I can assign the main mesh of the character and compile now we see it's properly attached to the character and this only works because these both skeletal meshes share the same uh, bone hierarchy otherwise it will not have worked so see it's working but this is not the way I want to apply I want to apply it uh, dynamically that means uh, just like we collect these swords these helmets only when I collect the armor I need to apply it through a collectible as a collectible item just like everything else in our game and then after that it should appear armors should appear in the inventory that we have created here in this part right now it's not implemented yet we only have the button but just like these weapons and these helmets the armor should be something that I can change because we need to import multiple armors and we should be able to change them as we wish okay now regarding that maybe I'll address that in the next episode so now you see now you know how this can be can like how to make it work with the existing character and how to sync animations and everything so with that knowledge we can move on to how to implement the armor as a collectible item all right thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patron page uh, link would be in the description below let me know your the questions anything all the problems that you will run into when you try to follow these tutorials i'll try to address them as much as i can leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another episode goodbye